Hello, this is Abby from DNA Reptilia, and today I got some two new ice pods. So let's get started. Alright, so for these first ones, they are, um, Armadillium Versicolor, I think it's called. I think that's how you say it. And I got them from Good Friend at Supreme Gecko. And I'll link his channel in the description below. I just really like the color on these things. And I have an enclosure set up for these because I knew I was going to be coming home with these today. So, all I did was leaf litter, a little bit of sp um, sphagnum moss, and the moist areas. And um, mainly try and put it in one area of the enclosure. Because they like having a, like all ice pods, they like having a dry side and a moist side. You don't want them to miss the entire thing. So this is going to be the moist side and this is going to be the dry side. And they like it more humid, so about half the tub. Make sure it keeps stays moist. Here they go. Alright, so this enclosure I already had set up, but I'll show you how I'm going to set up the next enclosure, which I, which are uh, calico ice pods. And again, thank you Supreme Geckos for these. Alright, so I have a tub fill with a few inches of dirt right here. I think I put too much dirt in here, but it'll do and it's all still dry and it's hard to know exactly how much of a dried uh, moist area you will need I knew about the other ones because Supreme Gecko cares for them but guys I got this from they didn't really exactly give me an answer so I'll just Keep a decent amount moist, but not quite half. But after I do that, just make sure they have a good amount of leaves. And they do mostly eat the leaves. They also hide under them. Just a good amount so they have enough food and hiding spots. That should be pretty good. And then I add a piece of cork bark or two. And usually I try and do it in the... Uh, the dry side so that's just my preference you can put one each side but it just depends on the size of your tub they have still working on using up our boas shed for just extra food really some species of mine devour it. Some eat a little here and there, but they all eat some of it at least. It's just none of my uh, cultures are exploding like crazy, except 
the dwarf whites, but those are really easy. And not hard to breed at all. I usually try and put one under cork bark. It seems to go well. And then I'll just mist on the sides. I try and just get the sides, but if it's brand new, I might go like that a little bit. The corners are our best spots to get the dirt wet so it trickles all the way down. And these are some of the calicos that I got. They come in a few different colors. As you can see, there's a slight difference in these guys here. And also, when I was looking in this culture earlier, notice that, um, got a few babies included. And a little more of a brown. And also a sphagnum moss in here, I might put a little bit in here. one. I've been wanting calicos for a while because they're just pretty cool. I'll make sure I don't miss any. Well if there's babies in here I should probably put all this in here because it'll be impossible to get all the babies. And the sphagnum moss will keep it very, very moist. And I don't want to go farther than here yet. Because I experienced with zebras, I ended up killing them because I wasn't, was never told that they needed a dry area. And they like it really dry. So I have a very small moist area in their enclosure. I killed a culture of zebras and then I got a new one and they've been doing great so. Might be able to see a few babies in there if it focuses. And then some other ones too. Just gonna dump the rest. Should make sure there's no babies left. So that's basically how the basics of how to set up a ice pod tub. So if you enjoyed, uh, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.